When it comes to our furry friends, we are grateful. There are so many organizations here in the Toledo area which take care of them, like Cassie Bloomfield and Lucas County Canine Care and Control. Good morning. Thanks for joining us today. Good morning. Who do you have with you? This is my... 12 years young friend Ruffalo, who has been being a total clown this morning before we were on, <laughs> rolling around. He thinks he's a young pup. 12 years old. Do we know much about him? So the first time he came to us, he was a stray, sadly, which, you know, a yeah. lot of the dogs we get from around here are strays. He got adopted and it was a great home. She loved him a lot and unfortunately had to move and her landlord was not a fan of him because he is a pit bull type mm. dog so she thought the best thing to do you know she didn't have a choice and she had to bring him back to us to find him another place to go okay so huh. he is looking for a home and it looks like he will get whoever takes him home plenty of kisses how can people go about adopting oh, him yeah. what is his adoption fee so his adoption fee, our base adoption fee is $125 plus a license, but right now we are actually having an adoption special that's tied to a um, pet food drive for mm -hmm. the Equality Toledo Community Pantry. So if you bring in a bag of dog or cat food, actually, um, you can get a reduced adoption fee of $10 plus a license for my friend Ruffalo here or any of his friends. We have so many dogs available for adoption, um, but I think Ruffalo is at the, to the top of the pack today, huh, buddy? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so bring in um, a bag of a pet food uh, dog food and then you get that uh, discount so you may as well right and you guys can obviously use those donations of course now if you are looking for a new dog a good opportunity is coming up on Sunday Yes, our snout and about is coming up on Sunday. Uh, my friend Ruffalo, if he doesn't leave before then, will be one of the furry friends going out um, with the public on their field trips around the 419. We're supposed to have nice weather, I think, so keep your fingers crossed for that. Um, but it's one of our favorite things that we do here. We send most of our adoptable dogs out on field trips with members of the public. Hopefully they want to adopt, but even if they don't, we get great information from our friends who do stuff we wouldn't learn in the shelter, and it's a great decompression stress reliever for these guys guys because it is really you know tough here yeah. in the shelter yeah we need to get them snout and about and you know just pamper them <laughs> and you know uh, take them out and enjoy themselves for the day and then hopefully you all bond really well and then you can just adopt adopt by the end of the day Yes, <laughs> and that discounted fee will go, be on that day as well, the $10 plus a license. Um, even if you're not looking to adopt and you want to bring um, a donation to our pet food drive for um, the Equality Toledo Community Pantry, really appreciate it. Baby, who's behind me, also agrees. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then if you have a dog, or say you adopt Ruffalo here, um, or adopt a, another dog on Sunday when you're snouting about, you got to take them to a baseball game, don't you? Absolutely. What's better than uh, our furry friends and seeing our Toledo Mud Hens kick butt? Um, hens and Hounds is coming up on next Tuesday. We have a busy couple days coming up. Um, and it is the Mud Hens game where you can bring your dog to the park. You hang out, watch baseball. It's really cute. There's pools for the dogs. And all the money from the dog tickets comes back to help us care for our friends like Ruffalo who need a little bit extra medical care. Yeah, so um, you bring it bring your pooch, have a good time, watch some baseball, and then help the shelter as well. Uh, plenty of opportunities uh, to, like you said, you're gonna be very busy the next few days. Is that baby again? Do I hear baby? <laughs> That's baby. Hi, she baby. Baby's has like, some Take me fear home. of missing out. Yes. <laughs> I know. She she's my per she thinks I'm her person. So she's pretty jealous that I'm out here with Ruffalo. With Ruffalo which, today. You know, well, he's very affectionate, so it's good to be jealous of him. Yeah, <laughs> so if people are interested in maybe baby or Ruffalo, when do you guys open today? Today we open at 11 and we are here until 6 p.m. Um, we're here all weekend as well, 11 to 5. So if you want to come down, meet some furry friends, hopefully take one home. Um, you know, we're here seven days a week. <laughs> Baby. Baby's ready to go. She's like, um, get me. But if you're not looking to adopt, <laughs> Yeah, if you're not looking to adopt, but you still want to bring some of that pet food, great. Otherwise, you can also share our posts on social media. That's a free and easy way to get our dogs like Ruffalo seen. Yeah, very good. Cassie, thank you so much for joining us this morning. <laughs> Take care. Thank you.